Triforce of Generosity. That's the piece in the middle that you can't see. Uh, the, the Triforce of Generosity. Starts on FD. Peach just gives so much like stage control presence just from being on the ground and being ready. Yo, oh my god, am I just getting fed right now? Are these good? Oh, thanks, dude. Uh, wait, how do I get my fingers in this bag? Alright, alright, sick. Oh, no. Oh, I took two. Yo, I like, I'm a jerk. I like Tobe is rocking the fish tag right now. Repping for his homie. You guys are going to be able to see them, um, top eight commentary tomorrow. Um, as it is now, we, uh, had some pretty good action between Jethro Tex and Tobe. Good knee by, uh, Poop there. Wow, keeping it really, really even. Good edge guard by, um... By Platt, I believe, is the fox. Now tying it up. Uh, that was pretty good. Platt just read Toke's movement really well, and then SD is like a low. total buster. That's a shame. Get for attacks. Quickly going for the throat on that edge guard. Oh! Flat also missing his wave land. Two minor technical flubs, and now his team is two stocks further down. The yeah, they're definitely uh, <laughs> getting bodied now. They were doing all right before, though. I just I feel like this is a hard uh, hard composition to beat as yeah. uh, with Falcon. And two very good players. Yeah, definitely. We're willing to. Uh, Oh, Peach, nice Peach back is just here. so good for edge guarding both Falcon and Fox. Like, so strong. Yeah, Platt's gonna have to take that stock if they want any chance here, and they're gonna need some good poop combos. And she's just really good on the stage, too. Her yeah. attacks are so good, she has so much pressure that it's just really difficult to deal with. That was a YOLO F smash if I've ever seen one. A nice up smash. Falcon holding on. Yeah, you can't kill Falcon at 100% with F smash, or up smash. Good double up smash by uh, by Platt to get that off. Oh, he tried to candle him there, and he is going to Gorgeous lose time. his life for that attempt. I like the thought, though. Like, when you're that behind, you got to go for something, right? And it's a lot better to have, like, your you and your teammate both at a high percentage than just you at a high percentage trying to take on two really good players. Absolutely. But, I mean, it's also, you want to take that risk. I mean, losing a stock is the absolute worst thing that can happen to you for one decision you make, so. All right, back we're going back to FD, okay. Now, uh, moves are being shown right now. Let's go, Poop. Good recovery by Poop. They didn't really put a lot of pressure on him there, although I'm sure they had a bit of an edge guarding opportunity. Jethro Tex getting him off stage, hits him with the booty. Toph is just not giving this Fox a chance. Nope. He's just bearing down on him. Good option coverage by Toph, uh, but Poop dips a little bit lower than Toph is able to cover with the shine. Not able to get too much. Jethro Tex with that quick smack. Taking out Platt's first stock, and that's the first stock of the game. Only about one minute into the match so far. So, Poop and Platt doing a good job holding onto their stocks, not giving them away for free like the last game. Poop kind of getting uh, ambitious with his approaches here. Like, he's kind of going in with knee without a whole lot of coverage from his teammate. Good knee off the edge, though, reversing that to get uh, Jethro Tex's first stock. And Jethro Tex, did smash. he just nair his own teammate, or was that a down smash? I believe that was a Fox down smash. 
got knocked yeah. way too low for it to be in there. Right. And, you know, like, although Vlad and Poop are a little bit behind, uh, they're definitely in a better position than they were last game. It's just going to take some really good team combinations here to get this, but uh, with that positioning there where both of them are trapped between Toph and uh, Jethro Tex, if Toph can, Toph can keep the wall up and just kind of pressure from the outside and knock them into the washing machine, it's just really hard for them to deal with it. Uh, they don't have the, quite the coordination or to get around the positioning. Toph has also just been doing a lot of work on his own. Yeah. Like whenever he can get someone in a safe one-on-one -on -one situation and the other person's occupied by Jethro Tex, it just rips them apart. Yeah. So I think he's just trying to isolate. Very nice down air. Good tech, though, by Platt to survive. Good recovery by both. Well played by both characters, or players. Up throw to Bear is so nice. Like, it's so guaranteed. Yeah, that, it's um, super safe. If you aren't feeling confident on your up air timing. There you go. And it usually leads to a good follow up on fastball. Yeah. Especially when you have a peach to edge guard for you. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. Whoa. I'll, I'll confess, I play a lot more singles than doubles, so I don't really know as much about the um, follow ups that characters can safely go for. What works on. That's an unfortunate down air. Yeah, and uh, that's another quick stock. Jethro Tex trying to edge guard there and knocks Platt back on the stage, but he is on his last stock here. Poop, however, very healthy with his two stocks. Um, but uh, I, I feel like they really don't want to leave Poop unattended with uh, with Toph, because he is picking him apart really hard when he gets the opportunity. Good angle by Platt, though, to recover. All right, good reverse knee by Poop to get uh, Toph off stage. Nice tight back air. And they got it close. Yeah, that's going to be easy. So now it's a 2v1. Jethro Tex is only electing to use down smash. Now. Down smash to up air. Dash attack to nair. And who's going to get this? Oh, wow. Okay. That parasol spike. So, uh, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's, uh, that kind of happened. All right. Well, good match uh, for the team of Toph and Jethro Tex, the homies team taking uh, Poop and Platt, sending them down to the loser's bracket. All right, boys, what do we got next? I want to see some more exciting doubles action. I'm glad that Brody is uh, maintaining the integrity of the tournament and making sure that people move along and get their matches played. Very well organized, well handled event. Yeah, he I'm does a really good job. Really with impressed. Yeah. Just got to get this loser's bracket moving along here because we have to go all the way to here. And yeah. right now we are... A lot of that can be played off stream. Oh yeah, no, for sure, it definitely will be. Um, yeah. So what do we have up next? Come on, Brody, let's uh, let's get a call out here. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be yeah, yeah, right back in just a second. None and Trulium versus Dishi and Kista. So we have the uh, a Waterloo team team of Waterloo locals, um, Dishi and Keats, uh, versus uh, LP Trulium, the original Arcadian winner, young kid, I believe he is a high schooler, um, teaming with uh, Nun from Nicaragua, the exciting Falcon main that we always love to see, probably like one of, probably my favorite player right now in our scene, such a swag master. Um, so we're waiting on them to come in, what, what do you... I don't know, probably bathroom, I would assume. Apparently all the cool kids are commentating with their shades on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out as well. I'm gonna see what it's all about. I know Aaron likes to do that, so uh, let's see what we got. Hey, uh, did the Red Bull girls leave? I hope they come back. Because I pr definitely only had like four cans, and I could use another right. four at least. Got some water here. Agua. Very important. Very hard to remember at tournaments, to be honest. Yeah, that's the one thing I really like about these like ballroom, like hotel, conference center tournaments, is they always have like free ice water. <laughs> um, like shout out to uh, the Big House Four. If you haven't noticed, I am repping that. 
Uh, it's probably it's the only national I've really been to, other than like if we count our own tournaments with large uh, followings as nationals. Yeah, I don't know. I think I count it, but uh, I guess like it's more of a super national, right? Like yeah. it's a big tournament. I'm uh, I'm definitely a rep. I'd, no, I'd say like a. No, I'd say our, it's just our, a honestly, national. the tournaments since then have been bigger than Impulse. Yeah, no, no. I mean, like uh, that was the first national we went to. Right. We oh yeah, true, true, true. Those, yeah, yeah. those were definitely nationals. But uh, yeah, we shouts ahead. out to the Big House in Michigan. If you guys haven't registered for Big House Five yet, I don't know what you're doing with your lives. It's going to be incredible. If you register before the fifth, you can uh, get yourself the Big House Early Bird T-shirt. Did you see that? It's like Falco doing a back air with like the Big House logo on it. It looks super swag. I'm definitely going to sign up so I can get that nice and early. Shout outs to Juggle Guy uh, for holding it down for Michigan, always uh, representing to the fullest and getting us a sick event uh, that we can all come out to. It's really easy to get there from Canada, the GTA, to short hop across the border from Windsor. So any Canadian Smash fans, if you haven't been to a very large tournament before, I would highly recommend the Big House. Uh, it always runs smoothly. It's always fun. Um, and yeah, definitely stay in the hotel, crash with the homies, get to hang out with some of the Smash players that you've always fantasized about meeting. It's very fun. Yeah. If I can be pedantic, though, about the Super National thing, I think that's more like Apex and Evo and stuff. Yeah. More than like Big House. I but feel yeah. you. Big House was big, man. It was huge. Like, there was a lot of people there. Is the match? Oh, no. That's a hand warmer. I really hope that Edgar isn't playing Fox. Although it would not surprise me too much. I really hope that we're not seeing a 2v1v1 with a CPU involved. I hope we see like a doubles match. I think those are more fair. Where is, uh, where's the, young, still be right where's the young sheep? Yeah. Wow, he has to get more water, more aqua? Jeez. All right. Duncan Dorf, so I can't really talk any smack at all. D U N C A N D W A R F. Shouts out, shout outs to his shouts. Shout outs to Adnan for totally. And I remember now, it was Adnan who inputted my name as Duncan Dorf. The Duncan Man. Yeah, come on, DC. Let's go, homeboy. He's a very versatile player as well. We may have to boot the Waterloo boys off stream if this is going to actually be that long. Although I really want to see Edgar play, so I might just be cool with them sticking around for a real long time. Oh, hey, we also have um, EMG We on X and Idea are going to be this Mario bot is just Mario hanging and, on. Uh, hammer time. You messed me up though, I almost said Mario time because of that. <laughs> Mario time. Swing your arms from side to side. Um, man, he lived to like 200% though. Lived through like Falco down airs, up B, Fox can up we get, uh Can we get Blitz and Heartbreaker versus Raynex and Ryan Ford? I want to watch the double Fox crew from the six run all over Blitz. Oh, uh, we found him. We found. We found Dishi. We found Dishi. He's he's on his way over. Falco, Falco, please none, please play Ganondorf or Captain Falcon for the fence. Yes. There's the Falcon. Yes. Falcon Falco. Yeah, I like it. I do too. I think that's a good combo. I know you like those characters. I like both of those characters a lot. Um. 
I've honestly, I haven't been keeping my Falcon warm, to be honest. Now you're sticking He's on the uh, Falco? Yeah, and I've also been uh, playing a lot of Mirth and Sheik and Fox, so. All those other good characters. Yeah, I just sort of, I've been keeping Falcon in my pocket. He's a lot of fun, though. Really satisfying. Really I've only good really been doubles. playing Smash 4 lately, so. Crazy. Yeah, I know.